and welcome to Monkey Business. This is Monkey Business for March 3rd, 2013. And in today's afternoon coffee newser, we have two recent deals for aircraft manufacturer Boeing, which has seen a bit of turbulence of late, those episodes here. But the company has just placed several of its products, according to announcements from commercial airline Air China and aircraft leasing firm Air Lease Corporation. Air Lease Corporation's order of 10777-300ERs, uh, or extended range airplanes, is valued at 3.2 billion U.S. dollars at current list prices. While Air China Limited will be ordering more than 20 aircraft, also including one 777-300ER, or extended range model. For more details on both of these deals, just browse the links in the info box. And you've been hearing the term sequestration all over the news recently. In legal terms, sequestration uh, refers to the seizure of something from the possession of its owner for the benefit of creditors or the state. But how does it apply to the U.S. economy? In simple terms, it means a series of budget cuts affecting government agencies totaling $1.2 trillion spread out over 10 years. For a quick primer on that, just check the links in the info box. And now over to Marcel for Nearly News. Take it away, Marcel! Today we have the annual report from Berkshire Hathaway and the Wall Street figure of the company, the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. Yes, yes, he's still kicking around. As you know, it almost seems like he's been at investing since the dawn of time. So, what's news for Berkshire Hathaway? In uh, 2012, Buffett reports Berkshire Hathaway achieved a total gain for shareholders of uh, 24.1 billion. And his commentary on this? He says, I could never have dreamed that the year in which we had a gain of 24.1 billion would be so pale, but so pale it was. For the ninth time in 48 years, Berkshire's percentage increase in book value was less than the S&P's percentage gain. It's our job to increase intrinsic business value at a faster rate than the market gains of the S&P. If we fail, our management will bring no value to our investors, who themselves can earn S&P returns by buying a low-cost index fund. It's this kind of frankness and uh, homespun style that investors return for in Buffett's annual letters. Apart from the fact, of course, that Buffett built his multi-billion dollar fortune through the stock market. If you're wondering why we're covering Buffett's annual letter in today's Mile High report, just take a look at the cost of one class A share in Berkshire three years of market close on March 1st, 2013. One share, 152,750 US dollars. Already an octogenarian, Buffett has uh, been involved in the stock market since the 1950s, more than 60 years. Despite being one of the world's wealthiest people, the low-key Buffett uh, stood in the same home he purchased in 1958 and his take-home salary as CEO of Berkshire Hathaway in uh, 2007 and 2008 was 175,000 US dollars, compared to a flying CEO at other companies. His extravagant purchase of a $6.7 million private jet in 1989 was something of an anomaly, but uh, with characteristic dry humor, he christened it the indefensible. For an in-depth interview with uh, Buffett with uh, broadcast journalist uh, Charlie Rose, just click above. And for a read of this year's annual report from the Just Folks head of Berkshire, the way I just browse the links in the info box. It's a good time for the annual letter. Perhaps you were even wondering this morning, uh, hey, that one Buffett, you know, is he still alive? Of course he's alive. He's sitting on a fortune of 46 billion US dollars, according to Forbes magazine. At a two or not, he's not going anywhere. Ah, uh, bien, neither would I. Even if everything sagged and snapped and even fell off, I'd be propped up with pillows in my hospital bed saying, bring her back, or... And if they punched my ticket, I'd be sure it was a round trip. If I saw the Grim Ripper, I would just hide under the blanket. Cause you can't see me there. Take me? Take me where? I was just, you know, having a nap. Ha ha ha, the Grim Ripper, I dare you. <laughs> oh la la, pardon me. Uh, the two French uh, monkey. The next bed, uh, the next room, uh, I mean the next building, the next building, you know? Oh, it's not. Hey, yeah, probably just getting some jello. Oh, well, uh, no, 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 don't sit down. No, you know, uh, we've run out of chairs in the room somehow. Maybe you can wait for him in the lunch room. Uh, sure, no problem. Uh, remember, next left, uh, right down that uh, creepy hallway. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, keep going. Toodaloo, pip-pip, uh, bon voyage. 
Hit the run, but bye bye. Ah uh, bien, that's today's monkey business. Perhaps I'll touch it down in Omaha, Nebraska, to see if Warren's up for a bridge game. I don't know how to play a bridge myself, but at least I get some tan dust. Take care, folks. There are green ripples out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just fly my airplane. Time for lunch. Let me just reach into that seat behind me for my little picnic bag. Oh la la. Uh -oh. Yes, well, uh, the nice to see you again, but regrettably, you see, he, the, the, the little monkey, you know, uh, I mean, it's the strangest thing. He, uh, he, he just stepped out. Out. Out of the plane. That's probably why you're here, you know? Yes, yes. You know, I'm not here right now, actually. I just leave a message after the beep. Mm -hmm. I know, do black cows. Do you want to? Let's see the winner. Stays alive. Okay. So I'm just going to reach under my seat here and get my power shoot. Uh, cards, cards, I mean cards, poker, gin rame, go fish, uh, flip a coin. I just happen to have one. Uh, heads I win and tails you lose. Okay? Okay. Got to go. Wish him luck.